Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. I pray that you are all in the best of health and iman. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nafisa. I am a Muslima life coach and I support Muslim women with relationship and mental health issues. So if you're looking to be coached in those areas, you can find me over on my website, which I will leave linked in the description box down below. But over here on YouTube, I make Islamic lifestyle as well as Dawah content. So if you're interested in that, then definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. So guys, today's video is going to be quite a chilled out and a relaxing video because I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I like to do to take care of my skin. Before I begin, a few quick disclaimers. It is very important for us to make sure that we keep our skin hydrated by making sure that we keep our body hydrated. When your body is hydrated, it's going to also have an, inf uh, an impact on your skin and how good your skin looks. Also, diet is also very important, guys. Do not underestimate the power of diet for good skin. If you're worried about the way your skin is looking but all you ever eat is junk, girl, maybe what you need to do is invest in eating some green um foods that are high in anti antioxidants and so on and so forth rather than investing in physical products to rub on your face i'm just saying take care of your diet because that's where it starts make sure you drink a lot of water and make sure you try your best to handle stress make sure you have a few things that you do that helps to de-stress you because stress is not good for your body at all stress ages you very very quickly okay so try your best to find ways to manage stress okay having said that my skin type is combination skin but i also have a very tolerant skin so what i mean by combination skin is sometimes i am oily in my t-zone and then i can be normal around here and then around my chin sometimes i can be dry so i do have combination skin now what i mean by tolerant skin is that my skin can actually handle a lot <laughs> there are a lot of things that other people put on their skin and their skin can't handle it that i put on my skin and my skin is just like normal okay so i have tolerant skin so some of the products that i use might not be best for you so whatever I sh i'm sharing here might just give you ideas about things that you could also include in your skincare routine but just bear in mind that whatever works for me might not work for you and whatever works for you might not work for me um in one of my videos during ramadan when i applied coconut oil to my face someone said you know be careful because it can clog your pores and yes i have heard of that but I've been using coconut skin, uh, coconut oil on my skin for so long and I don't have any reactions to it. That doesn't mean someone else might not have a reaction to it. So always bear that in mind. Whatever works for me might not work for you, but I'm just here to share, give you some ideas and reasoning behind why I'm using some of the products that I am using. Okay, enough of the chitter chatter. We're going to go straight ahead into the skincare routine. I'm going to share what I do in the morning as well as what I do in the nighttime with you all. So we're going to begin with my cleansing routine at night. At night, I double cleanse my skin. To begin with, I use the Clinique Take the Day of Cleansing Balm. And the reason why I love to use this is because the cleanser that I use after this is quite a strong cleanser. And it's always nice to have something that's a little bit more gentle so that my skin doesn't feel as stripped. So I really like this. It takes off my eyeliner, which is the only kind of makeup that I'll sometimes have on a regular basis. So I really enjoy this. It's almost like a cream. You rub it on your fingers and you apply it to your face and then you wash it off with water. So I begin with that. And then after that, I go in with my Dudu Osun African Black Soap. You guys know this is a staple in my skincare. I have been using this for about six to seven years. It remains a staple in my skincare. This will have your skin curly, okay? This ain't no joke. This is a serious cleanser. It deep cleans your face for you. It is made with a lot of natural ingredients such as shea butter, ashwood, lemon, it has so many benefits to it. This is one product that has really helped to even out my skin tone um, over the years. I've definitely noticed that. And it also has really helped to reduce the production of acne on my face. I even use um, this soap on my body as well. So the skin on my body 
glows just as much as the skin on my face and I absolutely love this. It exfoliates my skin really, really well for me. Once a week, I like to physically exfoliate my skin. I've also included a lot of actives and a lot of chemical ex exfoliants into my skincare routine, but physical exfoliation is one thing that I find that my skin really loves and my skin thrives on physical exfoliation. And the next product that I'm going to show you is very controversial in the skincare world. The skincare gurus hate it, but again, it's one thing that works for me. Just because it doesn't work for other people and they don't like it, doesn't mean that it doesn't work for me. And this is the St. Ives um, Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. I know, don't roll your eyes, it really works for me. It's one product that I feel I'm always going to have in my skincare routine. Ever since the whole hype about this product though, I have found that they've changed the formula of this slightly. It is now, um, like the, the, the scrubs are a lot finer than they used to be and I just really like this product. It has salicylic acid in it to help prevent the um, production of acne and help to you know reduce this, the sebum overproduction of sebum that tends to clog your pores with dirt and all that and cause acne. It helps to prevent that. So for that reason, I really do love this. I feel like it's one of the reasons why my skin does glow. And if I don't do a physical exfoliation of my face, Irregardless of all the other chemical exfoliation that I do, my skin just won't look right. It just, it will look dull. It just won't look right. So I love to physically exfoliate. I have drastically reduced my physical exfoliation to once a week because that's really all I need nowadays. I don't need any much more than that because the other products that I'm using are also working really well for me. So I do physically exfoliate at least once a week with this. The next thing that I sometimes do at night but mainly maybe once every two months or once every three months or once whenever I feel like I need it is to do a, a mask. And I still use my Indian healing clay mask, the Aztec clay mask, I still use this. But, but the only difference is, whereas before I would add um, apple cider vinegar to this and then apply it to my face, that's way too strong for my face now. My face can't handle that anymore. So I just mix this with water and I apply this to my face and I let it sit until it dries and then I go and wash it off and this really just helps to like purify um, the pores of your skin and it draws out all the impurities out of your pores so as it dries it's kind of pulling out and you can feel that pulling sensation with this product anyone who's ever used it before knows exactly what I'm talking about it's really weird um, but you can literally feel it like your skin slightly pulsing as as it dries up but it's fine, it's safe, it's nothing major, it's just how it works. And it pulls out the, the, the dirt and stuff off of your pores and that's what really gives you like that clean skin texture, okay? If you find that you're doing all this physical stuff but deep down you just feel like your skin, your pores just look clogged up and they're just not clean, maybe what you need to try is something like this. So this is something that I would also do during the night. If I exfoliate or I do a um, mask, I will just moisturize my face right away and I won't use any actives because I just think that that's, that's just enough for one day, um, for one night. But on days when I only cleanse and I don't do any exfoliation and I'm not doing any mask, I will then go in and use my actives. One of the actives that I really like using is a BHA. BHAs are um, acids that go deep into your pores and they help to unclog your pores um, kill off the bacteria and unclog the you know overproduction of sebum that can cause acne and one that I really like using is the Paula's Choice 2% um, salicylic acid and I really really love this this is a product that will give you that instant glow like they have an advert on YouTube that's like can you get instant glowing skin overnight they're not joking because I've tried it you apply this on your face and you will instantly see that glow. Reason why I use this at night is because it's not recommended to use something like this in the morning because it can make you more sensitive to the sun. So I apply this onto my face, I dab it onto my face and it works really well for me in terms of helping to prevent the production of acne on my face. On another night, so on the alternative night, so one night I might use this and another night I would use 
this right here it's a product from the ordinary ordinary and this is glycolic acid glycolic acid is what is known as an aha and ahas are um chemical exfoliants so what they do is that they almost melt off the dead layer very top layer of the skin to reveal new smooth brightening more beautiful um, baby skin that is underneath so that is what this does it's very gentle i know the way i've described it it sounds like oh my gosh my face is gonna be melting away but no it's not nothing like that it is quite gentle but i will say seven percent is a little bit strong for someone who's never used um glycolic acid before so maybe a way of introducing glycolic acid into your product would be just to have it in a cream you know look for it in a in a moisturizer or something like that start using that first see how your skin responds to that before you go for this because this is a seven percent toning solution so again i would use this in a similar way as to the way i use my salicylic acid i just apply a few drops onto my hand and i dab it onto my face however i never ever use both of these together in one night i never do that i'm either cleansing my face then using this or I cleanse my face and I use and I use this and then I follow up with my moisturizer um if I do happen to have um a spot I will use this Mario Badescu's drying lotion you know it's 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 worked okay I wouldn't say it's amazing at like getting rid of um acne bumps on your face or drying out your acne bumps like I feel like it dries so fast that you have to be very careful when you're applying it and apply it very very quickly because otherwise it will start to dry before you've even had the chance to even place it on your spot another new product I have recently probably in the last one month introduced to my skincare is um, vitamin A and the vitamin A that I'm currently using is from The Ordinary and it, this is their retinol 0.2% in squalene. I really like this product. Um, retinol is a very, very important ingredient. Apparently, it really helps with combating acne. That was what it was first used for. And then other people begun to notice that it also helps with the production of collagen. And as you guys know, the older we get, the less collagen we tend to have in our skin so this improves the amount of collagen in your skin and collagen is what that what gives you that like plump feel to your skin where it's nice and full and it's youthful looking right so vitamin a retinol um, which is a version of it vitamin a really helps with that it also helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles it helps to brighten the skin and it also helps to reduce photo damage. Photo damage is the damage that happens to our skin because it gets exposed to the sunlight. So this I really, really like. I have been using this very, very carefully because the thing with retinol is you have to introduce it slowly into your skincare routine. This is 0.2% and this was the lowest percentage that I could find. And I only use this once a week during the first two weeks. The first two weeks, only once a week, I would apply this. I would apply three drops onto my, the palm of my hands and I would dab it onto my face. And despite that I was only using this once a week, after about two weeks, I did start to get dry patches and flaky skin around here and around here of my mouth. And so one of the ways that I combated that was I would exfoliate that dead skin away and I would also apply um, an essence. So... The job of an essence is really to add more moisture to your face and so that works really well in combating some of the problems that you may experience with using retinol because retinol can be very drying to the skin and that is why you need to introduce it slowly until your skin gets used to it once your skin gets used to it you stop getting that drying effect but but when you start this is what happens and so I use an essence and what I like to do with my essence is I put it in a small spray bottle like this and then I spray my face with it so if I apply my vitamin A one night I let that sink in and once that has sunken in I will spray the essence to my face before I moisturize my face and I find that that has worked really really well in helping to prevent um, the drying effects that you can tend to have with um with the retinol so i highly recommend you guys 
get something like this or just make, make sure that you have a really thick moisturizer that can really help to combat that drying side effects that you can sometimes experience with your retinol. Okay, so at this point, I have cleansed my face, I've, moist I've applied my um, treatments, and now it's time for me to moisturize my face. And I have a new nighttime moisturizer that I use, and that is the Olay Total Effect 7-in-1 Night Firming Moisturizer. This moisturizer is very light. I really do enjoy um, using it. And the whole 7-in-1 thing is because it's meant to do a whole bunch of things for your face, like it's meant to help um, firm the skin, it's meant to help reduce um, fine lines and wrinkles and all of that good stuff. Before I do sleep, you guys know I'm not about that dry lip life. Um, in fact, I forgot to mention when I was mentioning the cleansing routine, sometimes I also use um, a small towel like this. I dampen it with either a, a small amount of a gentle cleanser or something like that. And I just go in a circular motion all over my lips and this helps to exfoliate my lips. Sometimes I find like those sugar scrubs and things like that can be a little a little too harsh on my, my lips and it doesn't exfoliate my lips the way I want it to. So this is a very easy way to just kind of exfoliate your lips and you have a very nice smooth lips. <laughs> then I will moisturize my lips before I go to bed and you guys already seen that I use the Nivea lip butter. I find this quite moisturizing. I really do enjoy it. Um, but recently also I've always been wanting to try the Laneige um, lip sleeping mask and I recently did purchase one. It does typically smell like bubblegum like everybody else describes it in their videos and it is very very thick very thick in fact the strange thing is I'm like you know what they are right when they describe this as a mask because it's so thick that it's strangely not as moisturizing as even this lip butter right here so what I like to do is double up on both of them so I will apply my lip butter and then on top of that, I would apply this, me. Game changing. It's going to give you smooth, soft, supple lips. If you're married, your husband's going to be impressed. <laughs> That's all I can say. And if you're not, you're going to be impressed. So this is, this is my gang for the nighttime before I go to sleep. And yeah, after that, I'm all ready to sleep. I know it sounds like a lot to do at nighttime, but in reality... I'm only just cleansing. I'm using one of my actives. I never keep, you know, put one active and put another active. No, I cleanse and then I use one active. I moisturize, I moisturize my lips and I go to bed. Okay, so that is it for the nighttime skincare routine. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my morning skincare routine. So because I've done the most during the nighttime, I try to keep it very simple in the morning. And unlike what I used to do before, which was to use my African black soap again to cleanse my face in the morning, I don't do that anymore, just to prevent like my skin feeling too tight and dry. So now the cleanser that I use is the Is Clinical Cleansing Complex. And I have been using this cleanser for the past a year and two months now and I really like it. It is a gel-like cleanser. It is very gentle. I think someone with sensitive skin can still use this. But the really good thing with this cleanser is that it has a lot of um, positive ingredients for your face um, in here. And so one of those ingredients is um, salicylic acid. Once again, it also has retinol in it. It has vitamin A, vitamin C, as well as vitamin E in it as well. And it also has some form of glycolic acid in it as well. Now, obviously it's in very small amount, but I think the greatest um, active in this cleanser is the glycolic acid. The thing with the cleanser with some of these ingredients in there is that you have to use it long enough on your face for your skin to actually absorb those, you know, goodness into the skin. So I do rub this on my face for about 30 seconds. I literally count to 30 as I rub this all over my face and then I gently cleanse this off. And it's a really lovely cleanser. I really enjoy this cleanser. I'm definitely going to be keeping this as a staple product in my skincare routine. I think it's, it's worth the money. It's a little bit more pricey than your average cleanser, but I really do like it. But if you're looking for a very simple and gentle cleanser, 
for sensitive skin, I recommend the brand Simple. The brand Simple is very, very good at making really good nourishing cleansers that are also very gentle for your skin. So if you're not all about this life, you can try something like that and it might work really well for you. After I have cleansed with that, again, keeping it very simple in the morning, one thing I do love using in the morning is a vitamin C serum. Um, there are a lot of vitamin C serums out there in the market nowadays, but the one that I'm currently using is the Is Clinical Pro Heal Serum Advanced Plus. Now this is very pricey for a vitamin C serum. If you just want a simple vitamin C serum, there are loads in the market that you can try that are just simply vitamin C. But I did a lot of research and I found out that there are different types of vitamin c's and this product has one of the best form of vitamin c which is the l absorbic acid if i remember correctly and this is one of the best forms of vitamin c because vitamin c is actually a very unstable product exposure to light exposure to air can easily ruin your vitamin c so you have your vitamin c and you think the product is still doing something for your face but it's actually not doing much and that's one of the reasons why i got a very small bottle of this one this is the 15 ml um, bottle because i don't want to be keeping my vitamin c's for too long once i finish this i can purchase a new a new one so if you if you're purchasing vitamin c try not to get it in like a massive bottle or anything like that because it doesn't remain stable for very long but this one again is very very good the is clinical line i think is known as like a medical grade um line of products that is highly recommended by like estheticians and you know skincare gurus or <laughs> around the world and stuff like that so i think it's a very good um brand to look into if you feel like splurging because i'm telling you their products are not cheap i'm just putting it out there but for me i'm not a makeup girl like that I enjoy everything to do with skincare, so I don't mind investing in some skincare products if I really enjoy using them. After the serum, all I do is moisturize. So my moisturizer is the same moisturizer that I use on my body, and this is the Aveeno um, Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion, the one with shea butter in it. This does not clog my pores. I have found this works very well for me. I use it on my face as well as on my body, so I moisturize my face with this. And then I go in with my sunscreen sunscreen is very very important guys if you're going to be doing all this actives and putting all this products on your face you better be using sunscreen because if you don't you're going to reverse this whole process because a lot of these actives are photosensitive okay they make your skin more sensitive to the sun so that's why i use a lot of my actives at night and in the morning i have to use sunscreen so the one that i'm currently using is the la roche posay's Antilio's sunscreen in SPF 50 plus. Yes, I don't play. We're going 50 plus. There is a current battle between physical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens, but right now I like using this sunscreen because it does not make me look ashy. It doesn't make me look blue. It doesn't make me look like I just put baby powder on my face, okay? Which most sunscreens tend to do because they're made for people with, you know, fairer complexions and they're made to suit them and they can easily just blend those into their face. And as good as physical sunscreens are, I'm not trying to look like a ghost. I'm not trying to walk around looking like an idiot. So for now, I'm gonna to stick to my chemical sunscreens and I really like this one. It comes out white, but it blends into your skin smoothly, perfectly. No one can tell that you're wearing any sunscreen. There's no ashiness going on. There's no, your color looking strange. No, it just blends in to your skin and it disappears into your skin without any ashiness or white or whiteness being shown. So I really like this 50 plus do not play when it comes to your sunscreen girls. Even if you're a woman of color, we also need sunscreen. Despite what you've been told, we don't need sunscreen because we have melanin. Yes, we have melanin, but if you're gonna be applying all of these stuff onto your face and you're not gonna apply sunscreen, you're gonna end up hyperpigmenting. That concludes my skincare routine. This is what I do to take care of my skin. This is what I've been doing for the last year or so. I switched up a lot of things in 2020, we're now in 2021. There are a few more products that I want to introduce into my skin, like um, 
niacinamides and all this other stuff that also help with um dark spots whenever you get an acne and then you develop a dark spot normally what i like to do with those is i just gently keep exfoliating my skin until that dark spot fades away because i'm very careful not to like lighten my skin i don't want to bleach my skin i love my melanated skin i love being a black woman i love that my skin is uniform okay and that it glows and all of that and i'm trying to preserve that as much as i can i don't want any products that's going to bleach my skin so i'm very careful with all these like dark spot correctors because i just don't want them to bleach my skin <laughs> so i'm still looking into that um but i hear that niacinamide is a good one so we'll see um, but yeah guys that is what I do for my skincare I hope you have enjoyed the video inshallah if at any point I also update anything different I will make a new video to share with you guys what I do I think skincare is very important to every woman you know a lot of sisters get you know they, they, they get a lot of backlash for wearing makeup and so on and so forth but you really don't know what it's like to be in a woman's shoes who's got acne issues who's got discoloration all over her face and that it really affects people's level of confidence so skincare is something that us women in my opinion i think we should take very very seriously and we should invest in skincare more than we invest in makeup that's just my personal opinion you know if you you're having issues that you're not able to deal with yourself save up that extra couple of hundred pounds couple of hundred dollars go and see your gp if you're here in the uk or go and see a skincare specialist and let them analyze your skin and let them give you more detailed information about what you need to improve your skin personally i think it's so much more worth it than wasting money on some eyeshadow palette and some other a million and one foundations that don't match your skin invest in your skin first and invest in your health invest in what goes inside of your body invest in ways of reducing stress so on and so forth i just think that can have a far more long-term benefit to you than investing your money into makeup so i think the more we can address this in as natural way as we we can the better for us so yeah this is my little thing that i'm doing to take care of me and take care of my skin i know my skin is not perfect but alhamdulillah what i have is working for me and it's been working for me so i hope you guys take a few things from this video and yeah i hope you have enjoyed it there's nothing left to say except to say jazakallah here for watching and inshallah ta'ala i will see you guys in my next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh